Welcome to Harish Technologies, this is Mahesh. So, I am preparing a video series on Flutter. Uh, in my previous videos, I explained what is Flutter and how to set up the Flutter environment and we have seen the Hello World application, the Flutter Hello World application is in the previous videos. Okay? So, in this video, uh, we will discuss about two things we will discuss. Uh, one is what is a stateless widget and what is stateful widget. Okay? So, in this video, we will discuss about These two things we will discuss, one is a stateless widget and one more thing is what? The stateful widget. In my previous video, uh, I gave some brief overview on what is stateless and what is stateful. Uh, in this video, we will see the example, we will understand what is stateless widget and what is stateful widget. So, what is stateless means nothing but we cannot modify the state. Uh, like for example, just we can display a message on the screen, that is it. We cannot like, just, just only we can display, some UI can display on the screen, we cannot perform any other operations you cannot perform like you cannot update the text or you cannot configure click events like these things you cannot configure in case of stateless widget. In case of stateful widget, it is possible uh, we can modify the state, I mean we can ch change the label text, you can change, you can configure the click event for buttons. So, we can do with the, in, in case of what stateful widget. So, let us see first what is stateless widget. In our previous example, we created very basic application we created in the previous uh, video very basic example, just we are displaying a message on the screen called welcome to Naresh Active. Okay? So, in this video, uh, we will improve the UI, we will improve, I mean compared to our previous video, we will try to improve the UI, uh, we will take a toolbar, we will take a floating action button. Okay? So, let us start Android Studio, once if you add the Flutter plugin, once if you add to Android Studio, uh, in the beginning screen, you will get an option, while you are creating a project, you can see an option called start a new Flutter project click on the start a new flutter project. I am choosing an option called flutter application, next. So, specify what is the application name. So, first we will discuss about the stateless widget we will discuss, I given stateless. Stateless app is a project name I specified, after that we will see stateful app, we will see. Okay? So, what are the example we are developing? Uh, this example is already there in the github, uh, already uh, shared the already, you already, you are, you are already shared with the previous video, just I am sharing again. Go to this URL jsd.github.com slash mahi1108. If you go through this URL, you can see the notes for the flutter. Okay, what are the examples you are developing? So, those examples, notes you can see in this URL, you can find the notes you can find. Okay. So, let us see here. Just start the Android Studio and while you are creating the project, choose an option called start a new flutter project. I am giving the project name as a stateless app is a project name I specified. Next. Again next, click on finish. So, you are going to get a flutter project we will get, take some time to create a project. So, by default we got some a ready made code we got by default, what we will do is nothing but we will remove this code we will remove, remove. By default when you create a project, we will get a default template we will get, what we will do is nothing but we will remove this entire project code we will remove first. I removed the code I removed, whatever the code we got by default, I removed that code I removed. Basically, where you will get this dot file is nothing but if you see under the project, uh, you can see a folder called lib is on folder is there. Under the lib folder, you can see the dot file you can see called main dot dot, right? Because we discussed already, we are going to write the code in dot language, you are going to write the code, D-A-R-T dot language, you are going to write the code. Where you can see the dot file is nothing but under the project lib folder, you can find the dot file, okay? So, we removed the default code we removed, whatever the code we got by default, we removed that code we removed, now we will write that code we will write. The first statement in the code is nothing but first we had to write the import statement we had to write. So, import by default we had to import the material template we had to import, material package had to import, package you can see here flutter slash material dot dot. So, first we had to import this statement we had to import, it is a package, it is a, it's a built in package with a flutter, so I am importing that material package I am importing. Next, execution of the program here in the dot language also execution of the dot program will be begins with the main method. So, I am creating a main method I am creating, specify the return type void, main is a function name, not take any input parameters. 
okay. So, execution of this dot file execution will be begins with the main function will execution will begins. So, inside the main function I am calling method I am calling called run app is a method there is a predefined method called run app method. This run app method is taking the widget as a input parameter. So, here there are two types of widgets are there stateless and stateful. Stateless means nothing but we cannot modify the state we cannot modify. So, let us take the run app call the run app method it is expecting the widget object as a input parameter. So, we will create our own widget we will create class my widget my widget extends extends stateless widget ok. So, it is a dot language it is not like Java. So, it is a syntax it is similar with Java 90 percent syntax is similar like Java but it is not a Java syntax it is a dot programming language. So, maybe we can you can get a doubt like why 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 can't you use Java why here you created dot language. Java code cannot be convert into JavaScript, but dot language code can convert into a JavaScript you can convert. That is why the flutter is using uh, dot it is using internally it is going to convert the code will be convert the dot language code will be convert into JavaScript ok. So, see here a class my widget which is a child of what stateless widget. Now, here in the run app method you have to specify the object of my widget object you have to specify. So, we are we are creating the object for the my widget and make sure the statement will be end with the semicolon. So, we created our own widget called my widget which is a child of stateless widget. So, it is giving the exception why it is giving the exception is nothing but a stateless widget is an abstract class stateless widget is what is an abstract class which contains an abstract method. So, click on the error mark click on this error mark and we had to override this method we had to override called build method. We had to override a method called what build method return type of this build method is nothing but widget is a return type of the build method. So, now what we will do is nothing but here we will we'll take a, a built in widget we will take called material app. So, here a return ok we already have some default widget called material app return choose an option called what material app ok return the material app object we are returning here. So, now also you can run the application, but you will get very uh, empty screen you are going to get. Now also if you run the application, but you will get what an empty screen you will get. You can run the application, but what you will get? You will get an empty screen you will get. Now, inside the material app uh, basically uh, if you are aware of Android application development, you know what is toolbar, what is floating action button and all. So, here this material app uh, I want to get the template I want to get in the material app I want to get a template which contains a toolbar which contains a floating action button and which contains a home screen. Uh, for that template what we are doing is in the material app home screen in the material app home screen I need the template toolbar floating action button and the template I require. So, on the home screen what I am doing is nothing but I am creating the object for the scaffold you can see a predefined class you can see called scaffold. What is a scaffold is nothing but which contains a template which contains a toolbar the floating action button and the home screen. So, in the material app home screen we are creating a scaffold we are creating. So, this scaffold which contains a toolbar if you want you can specify uh, app bar ok. For this app bar you can specify new create the object for the app bar class for the app bar we are creating the object we are creating for the app bar and what is the title for this app bar you can specify the title you can specify title I am specifying new text I am displaying a text I am displaying call stateless widget example is a title I specified on the action bar ok. If you want you can specify uh, the few properties you can specify for the text like after this text you can specify text text align where you want to align this text you can specify text align dot center exactly on the middle of the screen I want to display this text called stateless widget stateless widget example is a text right we configured the title we configured if you want you can configure few other properties like what is a for app bar we specified the title we specified meaning up to this comma this is for what title we can specify what is a background color you can specify like by using the background color you can specify the color code you can specify like colors dot what is the background color I specified the color code I specified call uh, the green is a color code I specified 
I taken a color code called what? Green is a color code I taken. Okay. So now we specified uh, the two completed the toolbar with the background color green and we specified stateless widget we specified. Next, the scaffold contains a toolbar or you can call as a app bar also you can call. The next thing is nothing but what is a next body what you want to what you want to display on the body you can specify here. Just I want to display exactly in the middle of the screen exactly in the middle of the screen uh, I want to display a message I want to display new text I want to display a message called welcome to welcome to Naresh IT is a text I am displaying exactly in the middle of the screen I am displaying a text called welcome to Naresh IT. If you want to configure few properties if you want to configure like what is a text size what is a text color like these kind of properties if you want to configure after this text you can specify you can configure style create the object for this text style class create the object for what text style class you can specify what is a font size what is a font style and all. So, I am specifying the text style like a font weight under this text style you can specify what is the color code of the font I am using colors dot I want to display with the green color I want to display color code next and we specified text color we specified the green and you can specify few other properties just give control space we will get all the list of possible attributes I specified font weight like a font weight dot bold the bold color I want to display the text and if you want you can specify the font size also you can specify like font size uh, I specified 40 and make sure uh, it is a by default it is a float type of value you have to specify the float value you have to specify 40.0 like that ok. Exactly in the middle of the screen we are displaying a text we are displaying with the name called welcome to Naresh IT with the font size 40 bold color and color code color code is what green color color code we specified. So, if you want you can specify the text align property you can specify for this where you are creating the text view there only you can specify text align you can specify text align dot center. The same font style properties if you want to apply for uh, app bar title also if you want to apply you can specify here you can configure these properties you can configure like what is a color what is a font weight I specified the white color color code. So, on the app app bar we are displaying a text called stateless widget on the screen we are displaying a message called welcome to Naresh IT with the 40 is a text size we configured. So, the scaffold is a template we taken which contains a toolbar the home screen uh, home screen or you can call as a body and one more thing is nothing but floating action button. If you want to create a floating action button if you want to create after this body let us check where, where the body is ended up to here the body is ended. Now, I can specify the floating action button right we are creating a floating action button you can we are creating you can specify new a floating action button new floating action button the first parameter is taking a input parameter once if you click the floating action button which particular function you want to call we had to specify the function name as of now we specified null we specified because we are not configuring the click event for the floating action button because we taken a stateless widget we taken we cannot update the update the components you cannot uh, we cannot update because we taken a stateless widget ok. So, comma what is the icon for the floating action button you can specify the icon you can specify floating action button you can specify what is the icon on press we configured null if you want you can configure what is the background color for the floating action button I specified the same the green color color code apply as a background for the floating action button color start green. So, we are creating a floating action button we are creating ok. So, whenever you press a floating action button we specified null we are not performing any action what is the background color for the floating action button we specified green color. If you want you can specify what is the icon for the floating action button you can specify like child you can specify new create the object for the icon class you can specify icons dot. So, these are all the, the built in icons you can see the the preview of the icon also you can see here you can see the preview images preview also you can see what this icon contains you can see the preview also you can see ok. For example, I am taking a icon called faces icon I am taking here 
So already by default in the material material design, you are going to get some icons you are going to get. We are using the, those predefined icons we are using. So we place the icon also we placed. Now we will run the application. This is a very basic example uh, with a scaffold template which contains the app bar, body as well as floating action button. Okay? And we take in a stateless widget, so we cannot update the screen, just only we can display uh, some static content we can display on the screen. So let us run the application and see the output, what is the code we written. Okay? First I am testing the app in the simulator, iOS simulator. So we will take some time to start the simulator, once the simulator is started, we can test the app, we can test in the simulator, we can test. And once it is working fine in the simulator, we will test the same app, we will test in the Android emulator also, we will test the same app. Okay? So simulator is started, now you can run the application on the simulator, you can run the application, click on this run button. See here, uh, we got the output of our application, we got the output. This is what the application we created. So we taken a template called scaffold is a template we taken. With that scaffold, we got the toolbar as well as the body as well as the floating action button we got. Okay? Uh, we are updating, we are, we are displaying a text, if you see the code, if you see once. On the app bar, we are displaying a text called stateless widget example is a text we are displaying. And on the body, I am displaying a text called welcome to Naresh is a text I am displaying on the screen. And in the bottom of the screen, uh, we create a floating action button with an icon called face is an icon we placed. Okay? So the same application you can run on Android also, you can run the same application. So here uh, instead of iOS simulator, choose an option called emulator, open this Android emulator, you can run the same application, you can run on the emulator also, you can run the same application. Okay? So it will take some more time to start the emulator and deploy the application. So we tested the application, we tested on Android as well as iOS, you can see the same UI, the same UI as well as same you can feel, you can see in the same uh, Android device as well as iOS device. Okay? So this is about a basic example to demonstrate a stateless widget, just we are displaying a static content we are displaying on the screen. Okay? The next video, uh, we will see another example, just uh, we will modify that stateless widget, we will modify to stateful widget. and. We will write the code whenever you click on the floating action button, what we will do is nothing but we will increase the count will increase. Like after this welcome to Naresh IT, we will put one count will put, count variable will put. Whenever you click the button, just we will increase the count will increase, like 1, 2, 3, 4 like that, we will increase the count will increase. Okay? The next video, we will see an example for the state, stateful widget. Okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm.